Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Geeking Out. I'm your silly Dunk Master here for another Geeking Out freaking video. Out of your freaking mind, man. And I'm here with my boy Don freaking Prime. Good evening, folks, and hold on to your wallets, because. Wow, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that says it there. Like, holy crap. Hot Toys, they literally. that This wasn't a flex. This is like they entered, like. The world's strongest man competition and literally lifted a planet. Um, Jesus, wow! It's it's almost a little um, intimidating in the sense that you're looking at all this stuff and thinking overwhelming, and especially for yeah. people. Yeah, overwhelming. That like, yeah. I mean, just a quick word of advice: take a step back. You don't need to pre-order everything right now. Mm. I will say the one caveat is if you want the armor. And you did register for the Sideshow Con. You can pre-order her. And if you want her, I would say do it now. Because she is slated for release in September. As a Toy Fair exclusive. Not, not September next year. As in September this year. Through November. So she is imminent in release in Hong Kong. And then they'll... Unless there is going to be a dual release. Um, because it's Toy Fair. But she is the one that... If you want her and you have registered jump on it because that has the real potential to sell out very quickly and there will probably not be a wait list so to say or if there is it's not going to be very big because again it's a toy fair exclusive yep no no you're definitely right about that dude uh, i i would those are one of the figures i recommend doing day one pre-order because the windows is short that means that they're they're possibly uh of uh, Hot Toys is possibly speculating that this will be a low pre-order batch. That's why it's very it's a very quick release for it. So I recommend do not play around. Do not wait for this figure to hit stock. It's going to be another IG-11 heavy mando situation with armor. It's probably going to be a lot worse because it's usually uh, fe uh, uh, female characters don't do well with pre-orders. Okay, so they, 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 uh, there's some characters that, that do better, like uh, Black Widows, um, Captain Marvel, and stuff like that, because there's so many batches. But uh, certain other characters, kind of like they're kind of like in that mm. uh, villain setup where the pre orders aren't that great. So I recommend doing that armor right with the day one pre order. I I I can't freaking I can't uh, you know uh, make so much importance out of it. Just you you just gotta do it. You gotta do it. I, I don't. I don't play games with that freaking armor. Don't play games. Exactly. Um, so it's now. Unfortunately, from what I'm hearing, you have you did have to pre-register for the con to pre-order this. Um, so it's a situation. And again, I I don't know this for a hundred percent fact, but what is appearing like, at least for right now, if you didn't register, you can't pre-order. That's not saying that you know registering was just an exclusive period you know it's it's potential it may pop up for pre-order for everybody tomorrow or wednesday or again it could go to waitlist sold out you know an hour after we post this video we don't know the batch numbers again like the issues that nate brought up again Act it's um actually they they they, they open them up now they 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 have it open right now for pre-order for everyone, yeah, for everyone. Yep. Okay, I'm good. So then, I, I, I'm not signed in, so I'm already pre-registered, but I'm not signed in to the account. So now they now open it, open it up for. Okay, so for good, so good. Then it was just exclusive for a couple of hours. Again, so then everyone who wanted to get one should be able to get one. So just jump on that now. Yeah, people. Uh, uh, Sasho has done that before, where they have made it exclusively for you know first first. Uh, you know, pre-orders, like first register pre-orders, come in and pre-order that figure if they want to, and then they open up the floodgates for the public. And I feel that this figure is going to be a limited release because um, because of that speculated uh, release date and the fact that there might not be many batches, so I, I, I won't play games. Don't play games with the armor. 
But anyway, guys, um, I also want to say that I was watching one of the streams the second day. It's the not second day, but day one part two stream. That thing was freaking awesome. And I do want to say uh, hello to the folks I was, I was speaking to on there. You guys hit me up while we're watching the stream. Sinister, uh, Jose Lopez, Jose Lopez, mm -hmm. Doc Smizzle, Star Child, Single Songwriter, and Kekek. Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah, it was fun talking with you guys. Um yeah, um, yeah. I, I think uh, one of the one of the first was Jose, and then um, MC Doc was there. They were hitting me up, sinister. They, they, it just kept building up. It was pretty cool. Yep, yep. So let's keep the, yep, let's, keep... let's let's get right into it. Oh, you, do you have something you want to show us? Oh, yep, yep, yep. So just real quick. So um, I don't know if you might this guy be that. Uh, this is my Mayfield head sculpt that I'm going to have professionally painted. And I don't know um, if I'm going to do season one um, in his, you know, prison break outfit or if I'm going to do specifically like his prison uniform. Um, I, it might be kind of cliche to put him in the uh, transport armor, but either way, you know, I got to get him painted first and then we'll go from there. Gotcha. So. Um, let me see what else I wanted to say. Oh, also, guys, I know uh, some of you have been asking about the merch. We are getting some merch done, so stay tuned for those. We will be having some for giveaways as well. During the, uh, we're trying to get it to where we get these shirts in time for the New York Comic Con because Don Pine's going to be there. We're going to be giving out. Uh, plan we're planning on giving away these shirts as well. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're we're again still working on details, um, potential meetups, you know like said giveaways and other things too um again it's all dictated by the environment like what's going on in new york um but again we're gonna play it loose and easy um it's just about having a good time at new york comic-con all right i think uh the the second part of uh, uh booth tour day one they just add they're about to end it right now so so pretty much guys what we're gonna do today we are just going to do a breakdown of both tours, both part, uh, both day one, part one, and part two today, because they had certain figures that we wanted to look at and some statues as well. So we're gonna do pretty much a breakdown reaction, and uh, we have some thoughts about it. But also, come on, we gotta see my boy Cobb Vanth. Come on, I bought this shirt for a freaking reason. I knew my yes. boy was coming. Come on, I knew it. I told you guys we were gonna get a whole bunch of bobas, and freaking Cobb Vanth popped up. I knew it. I freaking knew it, man. Yeah, yeah, so, um, I mean, there was some shockers in there, too, and then there's probably a few, like, okay, um, kind of a flex move, um, uh, but we'll, we'll tackle them as they come. All right, so, let me see, uh, let me see if this looks uh, fine, I think it looks fine, I think, um, uh, maybe I'm, I'm enlarge it a bit more. All right, so, let's get this started, I ain't gonna have the volume too high, because I don't want Sideshow to hit us up. Of a, on a copyright issue, even though this is supposed to be a reaction breakdown. So you, so sideshow, if you're listening, do not hit me with a damn copyright. God, all right. So it has never happened before, but I've had an issue with copyright before. So let's get it started. So I, I know some people may want to look at this real quick. So. And each of the panels on the wayfinder. Uh, these are the. Um, these are the, yeah. uh, what's, what is this, the Kylo and Ray premium format from Rise of Skywalker? Yeah, they're, uh, they're with the battle. There you go. Yeah, they're Death Star <laughs> battle. Wow, that's really good. Wow. Now, the Ray could be a little better, but the Kylo, though, is perfect. The Kylo is yeah. really good. But damn, Ray's been hitting the gym, though. Look at them biceps. <laughs> God, woman, Damn. chill. <laughs> chill. But that Kylo, though, man. Damn, that's really good. I really like the Kylo. Nice. But the thing is, I don't collect nice. premium formats, so I'm not... Yeah. Right. I mean, they're just large statues. Yeah, they're just large statues. And they look great, though. I'm not going to lie. Just I don't collect statues. The only thing I create uh, collect that's pretty much about this size is a quarter-scale uh, hot toy figure. Yeah, exactly. You know, you've got Vader. I've got the Mark Three. 
Yeah, I got Vader. You got the Mark III. I'm looking to get a Boba Fett, but I'm waiting until Hot Toys updates uh, get us a brand new Boba Fett for quarter scale. So I'll, I'll get that one versus getting the Return of Jedi one. I was never a fan of Return of Jedi Boba Fett because he got wrecked. So Empire Strikes Back, so it's, it's a little different. But all right, so I think uh, we've talked uh, enough about the Kylos over here. Okay, okay, so look at this. Look at it. I, didn't they redo? Didn't they repop this pre-order? I thought they had this pre-order up already. Um, I think the I know the original run sold out, or it's in waitlist. Okay. List. So, it, I don't know if this is a if they like the first one was a season one and this is a season two helmet. Um, this thing is absolutely pricey. If it's this, if a rerun or whatever, you're looking at five six hundred bucks. Um. I mean, this is a high-end collectible helmet. Um, so this is almost in a niche setting unto its own. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, but I'll be completely honest with you. I'd be perfectly fine with the Hasbro one, the Black Series, you know, Mando helmet. Yeah, of course, it's not going to have the same chrome sheen. It's not going to have the same details. But if I'm just going to, you know, essentially just display it, with the rest of my figures and helmets, I have no need to drop that type of money. But if, you know, that's going to be the centerpiece of someone's collection, you know, that helmet would shine. This would be a great centerpiece too, man, dude. This, like, if I if I was going to go collect a premium format figure, I'd probably get this. Yeah. But I'm sort of disappointed with it because they didn't um, capitalize on the Rebels version look. That would have been perfect. Yeah, yeah, and it, and it might be a Macquarie issue again because those designs are specific to him. But as far as the base, that almost—I mean, it looks like the almost like the landing pad on Mustafar where you met um, uh, Krennic. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. You know, when he comes out to the circular base where Krennic is waiting for him. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. You know, I don't know why, but when I see that, that's the first thing my mind draws to is the landing bay where they met on Mustafar. Yeah, that was our thing so. too. But it looks, it it definitely looks like he's coming from his castle. Like he's somewhere at his castle because of his uh, of the structure design. Yeah, uh, Vader's yeah. castle. If you guys haven't seen the uh, pictures or you haven't seen Rogue One, there it is. Yeah. So I always find it hilarious that it's, uh, he built his castle right in the area where he uh, pretty much lost his legs. Exactly. Now, like, I mean. Thanks, Disney, for canceling the EU, but, um, yeah, essentially there's a big, big, you know, storyline in that where he lives there to essentially grow, get more powerful from the hate, because, again, Darkseid, the more you hate, essentially the more powerful you become, and he uses, you know, living on Mustafar every day to reinforce that hate for what Obi-Wan did to him, so. And essentially it's, a re like, reverse kryptonite. Yeah, I, I remember we visited uh, back in the Jedi, Star uh, Jedi Knight video games, we actually visited Vader's castle, and uh, it was one of those levels where we had to face off uh, a dark side user. He had issues with Vader or something. I can't remember what it was, but I know whoever got there first destroyed Vader's statue. Like, there was a big-ass statue of Vader, and it was crumbled to the ground right in front of the castle. And I'm like, damn, this guy was pissed. <laughs> mm. Insane. I mean, here's another thing, though. For a premium format statue, I don't know if they said, but does the lightsaber at least light up? Because, again, no, if it's Vader, think, you're... I don't think you it see, does. see, I mean, for that type of money, even if it's a statue premium format, the lightsaber should light up. I mean, that's essential. I mean, if you're trying to sell this as a premium format figure, it needs to have premium elements with it, and that would be, again, light up lightsaber. Because if you're already looking, doing a light I'm up base, up right now. yeah. Um, if if you're already doing a light up base, and again, it's not a figure per se; it's more of a statue. Then it shouldn't be as difficult, you know, to put an LED and run the wiring through hollow parts of the overall body, and feed that down <laughs> into the base. Okay, so it says this fortress serves as Vader's volcanic headquarters in his quest to crush the rebellion. Clutching his iconic red lightsaber, which includes a light up feature, so it does include a light up. Feature. Okay, good. Then, then, okay, so then this is okay. Definitely would be an amazing centerpiece to a collection. So, yeah. Okay, so yes. Then uh, yeah. 
yeah, so in the in the actual prom- promo pictures on SciShow, that li- that lightsaber does look like it's lighting up. But the thing is, you never know. Sometimes they just do that for you know uh, promotional effect for the light for the lightsaber to be lit up red. You know, for you know promo mm-hmm. pictures. But then you just, realize yeah. it's not light up. Just like DX Ahsoka, all her, you know, and even Clone Wars Ahsoka, all the pictures is, you know, are photoshopped to make it seem like the lightsabers are lighting up. When in, in reality, you're just getting a, a blade. It might have a little more paint on it, you know, as a, that's it's thicker than opposed to the other ones where you'd actually slot it into an LED lightsaber. So. Okay, but yeah, uh, guys, uh, bear with us. I know you guys want to talk about more of the hot toys. We are getting there. I just want to just touch on on certain pieces. Actually, we could speed this up. I think we already sold enough of Vader. Ooh, okay. Let's talk about this monstrosity over here. The man the, at General the, the, Grievous. Yeah, uh, I'll just say this. I'm still going with it, but every time I see this stand, I'm, I'm like, I keep looking. I've got the, I've got my dynamic stand already set up for him. I'm just like, I, I that stand will never come out of the box. Um, I. I can't think believe I'm just they gonna... used the same damn stand, man. I can't yeah. believe it. The one thing you could have updated at least would have been the stand. Th- that stand isn't going to do nothing for this guy. Nothing. I mean, honestly, if they were going to use the same stand, it at least would have made sense to change it from a horizontal, like how it's going the long way, to have it basically you're resting in between his legs. Because of that way, you would at least have a better center of balance, you know, and the legs would rest in between the base. I mean, the base would rest in between the legs, and you you could use that to support the feet. Um, but, yeah, the the base is a total, like, you had one job. That was probably the... Lo- a decent base would solve a lot of this um, figure's problems with its joints for support. Um Again, that being you know, at said, at least diecast joints. At least the diecast joints would have been nice. Yep, and again, and I'll be flat. I'm complaining about certain things. I know it. I'm still getting it. I still want a Grievous. I still know, even if Hot Toys announced it at the end of the week, it's still going to be two years out. You're looking at legitimate Hot Hulkbuster time, as far as research, development, production coming out to market. You're literally going to look at Hulkbuster time for a General Grievous. You know, from the time yeah, they I, announce it, so I, I've been saying it that the general gives from Hot Toys will definitely be some hot, some Hulkbuster R and D, because there's so much you got to go into. Hell, not even like if you're going to do the whole USB powered, um, uh, um, functionality like the Mark One. Hell, I could see them doing the. The turning of the blades, you know, the turning of the hands. Well, they already got the jack. I mean, it's not that hard off. They already have the jackhammer arm in the the latest, the deluxe version of Hulkbuster. So it's, I mean, it's almost the same mechanism where you, you know, you're having something go back and forth. Except this time, it's just on a standard, you know, like spin joint. Yeah. So. Damn, and also, uh, it looks it looks very Hasbro in a way. So, on certain parts. I mean, I, well, I, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't help when you're shining a white light right directly on it under a white light. Yeah, especially no, no, the I leg. Yeah. Yeah. Again, uh, Sideshow's uh, not doing the best at presenting this figure. Nah, I, I'm already seeing this figure already. I, yeah, don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch the moment you touch it. The moment you put your hand in the vicinity of the freaking, uh, uh, area of its uh, barrier of its safe space is gonna crumble to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, so, oh, I, I don't even want to do that. I really don't, man. They must, they must have glued this. Oh thing yeah, up. I mean, I'll be tell, I'll be honest with you. I'm literally, I'm taking him out of the box. I'm never taking out the uh, the double arm set. He's gonna get two CCFL cable um, sabers. He's gonna have his cape on, and he's like coming up to. You know, fight Kenobi on Utapau. Uh, speaking know, of Kenobi, that, look at my boy. Look at my yep. boy. Wow. It's funny, though, because I literally have my Kenobi in the same stance. You know, the, the iconic, like, let's dance. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's about my, my pose as well. 
but without the two fingers, I, I, I left the two fingers in my box. I'm like, ah, I can't get the two fingers out of the box at the moment. So I just have it with the open palm hand, and then here. Yeah. <laughs> ah, and it can look. I mean, great. those soft goods. People, yeah, those. Cause... I mean, yeah, those soft goods look good for sideshow too. Yeah, yeah. This is a very good line for hot for sideshow to actually build up on if they ever wanted to build up the line. But these damn the Anakin looks great though. I'll be honest. I just this thought of something. Updated. I just thought of something, and it references kind of uh, something we talked about in our live stream last night. Hot Toys and Sideshow, they have a documented um, partnership when they're working on figures, especially when it comes to clones and clone war errors. I'm looking at the belt. I'm looking at the soft goods. What if this was another collaboration where Hot Toys helped out Sideshow? Because some of those um, soft goods, again, look more Hot Toys than they do Sideshow. Like that belt and that tunic, that doesn't scream Sideshow. That screams Hot Toys. And like the, you know, or I mean, I definitely could be reading too much into it, but this might be one of those collaboration projects, just like these original Sideshow clones where Hot Toys, you know, helped design the armor. Yeah, no, so. I can see it. Well, the thing is, they have worked together before. They've done the, like we talked to uh, me with, uh, with you and uh, Bubble Feet, we, they've worked on these figures before together. You know, um, you know when Hot Toys worked on the Clone Wars for, for SciShow, and they came, they were like SciShow exclusives, but they were like, you know, with a Hot Toy logo on it. Yep, definitely. So, um, I mean, the head sculpt though is quality. It, it, that head like, sculpt, I feel like, got better. I think it got better. Yeah, it literally looks like it stepped out of the screen. You know, it's one of those things you look at the head sculpt and you think, you know. The, the announcer who did, you know, opened up every show. He's like, and here comes Anakin Skywalker into your home. You know? <laughs> I can't announce right now. But, um, it, yeah, it's, it's nice. Now, this potentially, though, also screams customization possibilities. Um, you know, you get some 3D print clone armor, and you can yeah. literally make your own animated... Um, Especially in Kenobi, you can make your own um, clone armor animated versions. So, wow! Look at that! Look at that! Let me see if I can zoom in a bit more. If I can zoom in, if I can zoom in, no, I don't. I don't think I can zoom in. It's a video, but that freaking head sculpt is really nice too. It's like you said, it's straight out of the freaking animated. Uh, yeah, um, that's really really good. Now, I mean, again, I, I'm not going to get it. I don't collect the animated line. I'm more realistic, but again, it's still a really, really good piece. Whoever sculpted this and whoever worked and painted on this, they actually should be commended because it's really good. Yeah, they, yo, Sideshow, you got a money pitter right now. If you want to continue, you know, because the thing is, Hop Toys, they're not going to do the animated looks. So they're gonna create. They're gonna create animated characters, but create them in a live action version. Oh, but sideshow, there are people out there that want to collect on this, on this, on the uh, original look. So exactly. So they look great, man. Okay, so oh my god, more Mandos. Okay, so let's move over here. That's the new Mando. Look at it. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! My bad, my bad. That's uh, those are statues. Okay, those are major statues. I'm about to say that chrome though, that you have me there on the chrome. Yep, and then you got like the industrial steampunk Vader armor, and then yep, yeah. this is their new premium format Grievous, which I'm gonna tell you flat out, I am not. I am not a fan. I might be in the minority. I am not a fan of the way they have this presented. Um. Like, the face looks fine, the arms look fine. The way he's displayed where he literally looks like he has his leg up. Like a dog trying, you know. I, I, I don't like that. If we're going to get Grievous, he should be fully imposing. You should be able to see him, even at with the knee bends, he should tower over you. I mean, this it looks like he's just having difficulty climbing over the stairs. Again, <laughs> my, it's my opinion, you know. Take it or leave it. But again, I just if wish the detail was better. Uh, no, 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 no. I wish the detail was the side, the six scale version of this. 
I wish the detail was as um uh, as in intense depth. as this one is. As yeah. in depth, yeah. That's the thing though. I love I love the detail on this, but I'm not a big fan of like I said, I'm not a big fan of statues, but I'm I'm not a big fan of this look. But it's still better than what we are getting with the one six scale um General Grievous. Yeah, but I mean, and again, it's one of those things. If you were thinking about getting this to add to your display collection next to, you know, sideshow clones or even the Hot Toy Four Five Hundred First or Cody, it's not going to scale. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they did that. That that like, why didn't you want him, uh, you know, standing and posing? I mean, I'm saying. I mean, I'll be honest. The only reason why I think they would do something like this is if we're going to see a premium format Kenobi. And the, you know, so you can face them off. Ah, okay. It does I mean, look great, though. It does look yeah. great, but I feel that that whole issue right there with the leg right there, that just looks weird to me. The base is nice, though. Yeah. But I, I think this screams there's going to be an accompanying Kenobi piece maybe next year or something. Or unless, unless they're going to, you know, reveal it later. But I, I think this is going to be... A pair with Kenobi coming down the line. It looks nice, though. I think, yeah. uh, but hell, the, the 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 metal that's within the legs they look they look detailed a lot better than the what we're getting with the one six scale Grievous. Like you see a lot more detail, you see a lot more weathering. Well, there's a there's a lot more area to dry brush too. Yeah, which brings out those details. Yeah, it's it, it just gives it, it makes me feel disappointed with the one six scale Grievous that Sideshow put out. Like I wouldn't be too disappointed with it if they just added the die cast legs at least or the die cast joints, so it would actually stand. But it's whatever. All right, let me ask you a question though. Um, I thought was it just me or did the, on the were you supposed to get the actual symbol on the back of his cape? Because I. For some reason, I thought right we were getting the, yeah, I think one of the, or two of the showed that there might have been, the, you know, the symbol on the back of his cape. Now, if I'm wrong on that, I'm wrong, but for whatever reason, I thought, like, the the prototypes actually showed that, you know. There so. is a symbol, there are symbols on the cape. Or is it just yeah. bad lighting and I can't see it? There's no symbol there. Oh wait, wait. No, maybe there is. Maybe the, you see the lighting there. You see it? Yeah. No, no. There is sort of a symbol there. Yeah, there is a symbol. Okay, okay. So, but but it's it doesn't look as light. dark as it should. Yeah, because yeah. in those prototypes, it, it showed it darker, right? Almost yeah. black. Hmm. They're probably gonna have to work on it. Okay, that's the Ahsoka premium format. I don't have to look at that because we're we're spending too much time. Ooh, Salacious Crub. Tell me your thoughts on this, man. Ooh. All right, so this is a highly specialized piece. Um, I I sent um, you and everyone else on the group chat the specs on this. So this is actually done by Regal Robot. Um, they do expensive, high end stuff, um, ranging from coffee tables with the Millennium Falcon inside of it to desks that are Han Solo and Carbonite. So this is a one-to-one, -one, it's a prop scale model. And they actually had the guy who designed this for um, Return of the Jedi and his team. They came back because they also worked on the Salacious Crumb designs that were in Mando. So like the eyes are 100% glass. Um, it's all different types of, like the, the soft goods are like, I think like either faux or like real animal fur or whatever. Here's the kicker, though, folks. It's four thousand dollars. It is yeah. four grand. Why would I spend four grand on Salacious Crumb? Ah, out of your damn minds! You're out of your damn minds! It has to be Salacious Crumb. Like it couldn't be a. I'll, I'll spend four thousand on Babu Freak. <laughs> nah, not really. Okay. Not, not Babu Freak. Maybe two grand. Maybe two grand on Babu Freak. But Salacious Crumb, really. Really, four grand again uh, because it's damn. so limited. Like, if you think like Toy Fair exclusives are limited, uh, yeah, th I mean, that's why this thing is also so expensive because they're not going to make a lot of them. This is like for people with 
way more money than they know what to do with. Um, and it, that's completely it's, fine. It's throwaway money. I got you. Fun money. No, yeah, fun money. But, fun money. Yeah, fun money. Fun coupon money. Um, but fun yeah, coupon. this is... Yeah. You really got to love Salacious Crumb to even think about dropping 4000 on this. But that said, it's still a really cool piece. It is. It is a cool piece. I I say that much, but I I don't see myself dropping four grand. I can see why it's four grand, but I don't see myself dropping four grand. You out of your damn minds dropping four. You know how many hot toys you can get for four grand? Get out of here. Get out of here with this. Nah, nah, nah. That's funny. I I'm I'm quitting to hot toy money. I'm like uh, Nate. You're, I'm, I'm being exactly. stupid. Okay, I'm being stupid. I'm quitting uh, hot toy money to this beautiful piece. Okay, so I don't think we need to focus more on this. Ooh, but I know what we can focus on, though. There we go. So me and Don had some interesting theories about this. So so Hot Toys is now flexing the battle droid and the strap, or the staff. I call it the strap, though. Yep. The, 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 here's the thing, though. Which version is this? Because... I honestly thought that this was going to be the Phantom Menace because we did not see any of the straps after that. They were prominent in uh, Phantom Menace and in Clone Wars. So, mm-hmm. but here's the thing, though, Don Prime. Uh, what's the colors uh, with the uh, battle? Um, the, it actually looks like Geonosis colors because the 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 B one specifically that we saw in Phantom Menace they were lighter. Um, they were a lighter color. And they also, some of them, they, again, depending on the markings, they had, um, like, the shoulder colorations. So, essentially, and again, this is all nerd Star Wars can and stuff, but the droids from the um, Phantom Menace, they were called OOM battle droids, so OOM-1 models. Um, and so, what essentially you see in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith are, the, the main, like, the droids actually fighting, they're different variations, but, again, an example, when you're... In Grievous's ship with um, Kenobi and Anakin, they're fighting. In Grievous is telling you know those droids to pilot. Those are OOM droids. Like those are the brand or model from the Phantom Menace. If you see their color is different than the battle droids that you know were actively engaging Kenobi and um, Anakin. So, I mean, I think this is they're just going to do this as generic Clone Wars B one. Yeah, this, you know, could this, be, good. this could be the Clone Wars line. Yeah, I could I could agree with that because the thing is, the Clone Wars line, Clone Wars show had these all over the place, the uh, the strap. So I'm guessing this is going to be part of the Clone Wars line whenever they release this. But the thing is, I know they're flexing with this, but I'm not sure we're going to get this though. I see the I see the 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 B two, which we'll see in a minute. But this though, do you think Hot Toys will drop this? The B one, yeah, and again, because they can do a couple of variations. Because again, there's the there's the standard one. There's the the then there's the security version. Then there's the different infantry versions. And then this would serve as the model, the base model for you know like the super ta- uh, the the commando droids and potentially if they want to remold you know the tactical droids. Um, I don't know, but again, here's the thing: they're already releasing a stat with Anakin, so it's just yeah. a recolor. So. I, I, but I do it 50 50. It sells with Anakin. It sells with Anakin, though. But will they yeah, do it for so, Battle Droid? That's the thing. I wonder if I they'll, they'll sell it. They'll sell it separately, and you could you could buy it as an exclusive, like buy uh, buy it kind of like two pack exclusive, kind of like what they did with. Uh, It'll be like the yeah, Boba and the Throne. You yeah, you can either buy the B one itself or the B one and the thr- um the stab. So. It looks great, though. I will pick this up. Like I, I'll buy at least maybe four of these i'll buy four of them i'll buy four of them i'll buy two of the staps and then buy two of regular droids and so i have four bow at least four battle droids i will i want some enemies i want some enemies and now i'll probably get six of the uh super battle droids that will be my pretty much my damn i'll I'll get i'll get four of the battle droids and six of the super battle droids damn i gotta fill that clone wars shelf man oh you're gonna get one in a 212 just to do the boxing scene yeah, boom, 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 one and two, one and two, man. That thing, exactly, that guy, yep. was, that guy was a Boricua, man. That glow trooper was a freaking Boricua. He went in boxing. 
<laughs> the problem is, it's like the problem is you can't say is that a normal two twelfth or an airborne? Because the further you go in and enhance it, it distorts to a point you can't tell. So yeah, you can't, you can't tell who who uh, what kind of two twelfth is that? Is it a regular two twelfth or a, or a uh, airborne? Because the more the more you go into it from a distance, it looks like a regular two twelfth. But then when you go further in, it starts looking like a special variant. So I'm like, I don't know. I just know it, it was a two twelfth. Whether it was airborne or regular, and but he was boxing though. He was boxing that B one. I was like, yeah, no, literally. I mean, you can if you've never seen it. If you don't believe us, you can go to YouTube. Just type in, you know, clone boxes battle droid, and it and it'll, it'll break it down for you to like how to see it. And it literally the the clone is putting a combination on a battle droid. Yes, so. that one of my favorite moments. I I remember watching that when I was in the theaters. I was like, dude, I see it right there. Right there. That, that's my boy. That's my boy. That's my clone trooper right there, yep. man. The one that went in. They're like, I know, I'm not gonna beat you with these blasters. I'm gonna beat you with these hands. Catch these hands, man. <laughs> yep, yep. But uh yeah, this right here, this is even grander than I thought it would be. Because it seems not only and again, are they also including not only the throne, but the Jabba base as well. Wait, or wait. Is that, is that the, the, I don't know, no. Because no, that's because they're, they're not include the Jabba. They're not going to include the actual Jabba. Or is that, or did they pull that from one of their own Jabba kits? I think so. Okay. I think so. There's no way. Let me look this up. There's no way they would include the actual Jabba base with this. There's no way. They, yeah. You know how much would that be? You know who has the space for that too? Now I could see you can barely fit the throne in the detop. Now with the freaking Jabba base? Oh hell no. That's that's gone. Yeah, look at, I mean, that's... look at Fennec with the bottle of uh, Bashka. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's I looking mean, good uh... today. Wow. Not literally, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have uh, Boba Fett sitting on the throne with Fennec uh, just sitting on, uh, on his lap, you know. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm around. <laughs> Yeah, like robot around chicken. His, okay. Like ro yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. If you haven't watched Mandalorian <laughs> until now, you you're out of your damn minds. Exactly. Wow, the gun looks good too. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, the whole Java base that's from Sideshow. That looks like from the Java uh, figure, the Java okay. uh, one six skill. Which I, you know, I've contemplated about getting that, but I'm like, it's Jabba though. And then I'm like, what if Hot Toys makes that? Then I'll be mad if I buy it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I you, highly you, doubt they will. I highly doubt they yeah. will. Jabba's one of those figures. Yeah, he's cool. I'm not dropping like sideshow money on him as 800, 700, right? For the whole kit. So yeah. imagine what a Hot Toys Jabba would be. Now, like I said before in the stream yesterday, we weren't going to get the head sculpt. We weren't going to get the head sculpt on Sideshow. It wouldn't have made sense. It wouldn't have made sense. If, they, if Hot Toys wanted to show off the head sculpt for Fennec Shan, it would have been at the damn uh, uh, Summerfest. But, yeah, I, I knew that we, they weren't, we weren't going to get the head sculpt. Maybe later, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll pop it off uh, during Sideshow Con. But if this is our first look at Sideshow Con with her, I doubt we're going to get the head sculpt. We'll get it later, though. We'll get the um, because they they can't include this figure out there. You can tell there's a head sculpt right in there. So I'm guessing it's going to be sort of like um, 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 like the Iron Studios what, one. No, no. What's our boy's name? What's our boy's oh. name from Bad Batch? Echo. I think it'll be like oh, Echo, uh, where the uh, where the the you got the head sculpt and you can put the helmet on. In it, yeah, and it's basically the headpiece and the helmet are integrated. Yes, that's why I think it's gonna happen. Okay, yeah, I mean, because so the not thing be a is, like, separate... well, I mean, because if you look at the Iron Studios one, it, it's it's a whole head. There's no way. I mean, I think it's just gonna be a helmet. The only difference is you're gonna put the like the old Avengers Chitari figures. You're gonna have to, you know, take her hair off or the top part of it. You're gonna have to put the helmet on, and then as far as the face shield, you'll need to put the face shield on separately. It's not gonna be all one piece. It'll be like a 
a modular helmet, again, like the Chitari. But, um, yeah, I mean, we might just get one head sculpt where the hel you put the helmet on and, like, Luke, the, hel the hair comes on. Whether you're going to put yeah, that hat on or one of his helmets. So. Ah, oh, man, look at that pleather. Look at that pleather. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this is going to hurt me. This is going to be another figure. You know how many figures I have I got to do pleather treatments for? Just adding it to the freaking pile. Just add it to the damn pile. Just add it. Just add it. To Thank you, Hot Toys. Thank you. <laughs> Look at all that pleather, man. God, Hot Toys, you're killing me with this pleather. Now, the thing is, the, the sniper rifle is going to have that blade. going to have to have that blade uh, uh, inserted. Because you know that's how she pulled out the blade, right? In Mandalorian yeah. Season 1, she pulled the blade out from the from the sniper rifle and then slung it at um, the young kid. Yeah, no, I mean, wow. I don't know. It looks, she, yeah, it looks like she has the, yeah, it looks like they have, might have a sheath. You see with the wrapping? Okay, let me go or back. Unless that's part Actually, of the... Do you want to go back? Um, is there a sheath? No, Actually, no, no, no. Right there. Is there a sheath there? No, it's it's just the it's almost like she's got a sniper stock set up, a cheek rest. That, I mean, yeah, that's a cheek rest. That's a, yeah, that's a cheek rest on the stock, not a um. Yeah, not a sheath. That boa found the throne though. I it's perfect because um it's all fabric, so you don't have to worry about uh um creasing up the rubber or anything. That's just fabric. Mm. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. only thing you'd have to worry um, about with that fit is his boots in the belt. Yeah, I'm right here. They're going to have to um they're going to have to uh sage up the uh the colorings uh, on on that i know sometimes the, it's the lighting it's the lighting that's causing it but i feel that we we they gotta they gotta bright up that sage they gotta bright yeah, up i mean the sage. All, no and here's the thing i don't know if they did something with the body or if it was just bad bad photos originally but he's looking a little thicker in this picture which is what we need yeah, I, I I want I, I want that uh, thick bro Boba Fett, okay? I want dad bod Boba Fett, okay? <laughs> he just came out the freaking Sarlacc, okay? So he's not he's not gonna be looking in shape. Now, um, now uh, I think uh, Tomor Morrison he's been working out the past few uh, months uh, during the production of Boba Fett. So this is the only time we'll get the thick Boba Fett. So I'm letting y'all know about that because he's gonna be <laughs> uh, he's gonna be like buff Boba Fett, like my boy's been hitting the gym. But I hate how Sideshow just tricked us with this base, though. That base looks beautiful. Look at this quarter scale Mandalorian. Wow. Wow. This looks great, though. But if they're gonna do it, do us like this with the with the Mega Chrome uh, season two Mando, then why I why what what makes me go pick this up? The only reason why I pick this up. It because I want that E Web cannon with uh, Mando, because I if they're gonna do a second season Mandalorian with the updated Chrome paint, it's gonna it's not gonna include the the E Web cannon. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just like why, um, kind of hedging your bets and then go up a little. I just want to see what it's what his armor looks like specifically. That's season two, dude. This That's is season, season two? two armor. Yeah, look at his look at his knee pad and look at his chest. That's um, right, the pad. it is. So that's so not I, even accurate. So are we gonna get a version two of this? I don't know, but that's definitely season two. I don't know, man. I don't know. I might. The only reason why I might pick this up. Is because it is the first um, Mando. It's the first Mando. It's the first uh, quarter scale Mando. Usually, you know, you always want to pick up your first. So I might pick this up just because it's being the first one. But then they come out with a diecast version. 
quarter scale, then I'm going to be pissed. Well, I mean, honestly, if they were going to do one, I'd see them experiment okay. like doing diecast more. Okay, the battle droid. Yeah. So in this, oh, well. All there right. You go. So, all right. So again, and get more lore. This obviously it's the a B two frame, but it almost by the coloring again there was a special variant, and this is more what we saw in Mando. Um, it's basically a, a super modified super B two. Um, it's like a CB23, I think is the something like that. Basically, it's a cortosis coated super battle droid. Um, and they specifically have that gray color as opposed to the bluish color um, in the red dot. Um, you would see um, where this one has a dot, but it's like a little subdued. Um, so again, this in, in lore, um, cortosis uh, coated ones, they would go specifically after Jedi. And those who have um, basically like heavy, high repeating blasters, because these things were armored. They were like literal shock troops to go against the best. You know, like Jedi had a hard time taking these things down. Yeah, the so. blue. Now the man, uh, I was I was asked about this like uh, during their uh, uh, reveals. Like, uh, is this the um, the bow the B two battery from uh, from the prequels or from Mandalorian. This is from the Mandalorian because the Mandalorian had this, uh, great tint to it. The, the, the prequels had always, this, had always this blue tint to the sewer battle droids. The later colors came in after that. Yeah, exactly. Now the silver, again, e even if you go look up a like cortosis covered battle droid or whatever, it'll bring up page and it's the coloring is specifically, you know, it's, closer to this than any in the thing you would see even in attack of the clones revenge of the sith or clone wars so i mean again it could have just been a coloration choice because it shows up in camera different to differentiate from uh, the prequel droids um but it's just given filoni and favreau's knowledge of the eu i would not again specifically not be surprised if they went with something specifically the cortosis covered b2s because they were going against the mandalorian at, at one point or another so no, it looks great. I might be thinking though. too heavy into it. It looks great though. I know a lot of people are complaining that why wasn't it uh, uh, Clone Wars or prequel? Because Mandalorian is money. Mandalorian's money, and also the fact that Disney is playing their hands with Hot Toys, so they're pushing for more Mandalorian merch because that's what's selling everywhere. Uh, oh, I'm grabbing the thing, this. That, yeah, that's the that's the thing I've always been. That's what I've, I've always been trying to tell people is. You got to go, you, hot, hot Toys and Disney, they always go where the money is when it comes to these merch, all right? If you don't see them put out any figures, you know, for prequels or OT, because the money isn't there right now. They will put them out, but Drift Feed Us, that, uh, those merch, uh, those uh, OT and prequels. I know people are mad about that, but the thing is, that's how it is. Like, if if uh, we had more collectors dropping hella cash pre-orders on prequels and OT figures, then it would be a different story. But you see now collectors are going crazy over these Mandalorian figures, especially Mandalorian merch in general. So I, I don't blame Hot Toys for going where the money is. I don't blame them. And also the fact Disney, that they, they, they probably want to capitalize on the Mandalorian name before it, it dries up. Yeah, I mean... And this is one of those figures, here's the thing, since we, are, and this is, uh, there's going to be a blue one of these coming, there's going to be a blue repaint, so it, we might not see it today, we might not see it for six months, there's going to be a blue repaint and you will see why in a, few, in a little while with some of the other reveals, so. Ooh, look at this, look at this, they went deep, they went deep into it. Look at this. This thing looks detailed. Yep. Wow. It looks plain, but it's detailed plain. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, exactly. This the, thing looks it's got good. the etching, the marks, the detailing, the linear lines. Yeah. Wow. Dude. I mean, I'm, it looks I like the, the hand panels, too, might be removable on pen panels. Okay, you know what? I'll get three of these, and then you just got me thinking. They'll probably come out with the blue tint ones later. I'll probably get three of those too. So I'll start with three and work my way up because I don't want to be stuck 
with a certain color, and then I'm like, ah, oh, crap, he's released the blue tinted ones. So I'll start off with three. But I still want to get well, six in total droids. Yeah. Cool, cool. While everybody was asking for this, like, hell, you know what they can do? They can just have a flashback with clone troopers in Mandalorian, and we'll get clone troopers. Oh, yeah, definitely. Something simple like that. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Mandalorian, guys. Cause look at the base. Look at the base, guys. That's all Mandalorian. That's all Mandalorian right there. I think it says Mandalorian, too. I'm saying. Um, I, I can't see it for me. I think it says Mandalorian. Yeah, it, it has that Mandalorian base to it, too. Super Battle no, Droid. Yeah, it's just Super Battle Droid. But it looks like Mandalorian base, though. And then it has the same Mandalorian color uh, of the of the battle droids that face off uh, with the mm -hmm. Death Watch. So, let's see. Okay, guys. Uh, I, we're not going to spend too much on this because that's the Death Watch. And also the armor is over there behind her. I'm telling you guys, the Death Watch will be selling out selling out quick. Or it'll sit, but then the batches are going to be low for it. And eventually will sell out. If you are looking to build up your army of freaking death watch uh mandos once they sell out there's no going back oh yeah now you're gonna have to go and get the other freaking troopers other uh mandalorian death watch uh figures uh and and this particular one won't be available yeah and this one actually comes with different changeable armor parts so again you can actually buy two and have them you know with different armor so Yeah, this pretty much is straight up a Boba Fett figure. What well, just uh, with Mando parts? That's what it is. It's literally another Boba Fett. You know, I was really hoping. I was really hoping for a prototype Boba Fett man, like you were talking about. That would have been nice. Yep, yep. But uh, we still got time, though. We still still New York Comic Con. Oh yeah, that's what so. I'm thinking. I'm thinking too. Maybe if we don't get Luke Mando here, we might see. Uh, uh, it might see that happen in the next one. Okay, so they're showing off the armor right here now. Oh my god, look at the Grogu setup. The Grogu, the second second wave of freaking um, accessory packs. I told you it was going to happen. I didn't I say it was going to happen. The accessory pack for for Grogu is going to be with the freaking base. You know they're going to do another one, right? Base. They're going to do What's another gonna one where going to be... Um, he's, instead of it being a stone base, it's going to be him on Imperial, like in the Imperial holding block with the little binders. Don't tell me that. I guarantee. Don't I, tell me that. Yup. Oh my God. And again, based on some of the stuff that, again, they showed that we'll look over, I have no doubt they would create like a, like a, um, diorama scene where it's literally integrated where you can put your baby Grogu and he's got the little bench. You know, and he's got his couplers. You put that, you know, into something else that now Sideshow, I mean, Hot Toys is working on. And you literally can do the fight with Gro in front of Grogu with um, Mando and um, Gideon. And again, to have all the stuff right from Hot Toys. Right? Because again, what they're branching into, which we'll go over. Um, but I think that's definitely in play for like a three pack, uh, like a version three of a Grogu accessory pack. Him and Binders. In the Imperial holding cell, but, and no, like those look accessories. At that beautiful, look at that! Oh my God, my boy, my boy, God Vamp, right next to freaking Mando. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, they had to put him right up there with my boy. Look at God Vamp, God Vamp, looking good today. Now give him the Timothy Oliphant head sculpt, Hot Toys. You better do it. You better do it. Do not, do not cheat us. I, I'll man. be honest, and like I told you before. The head sculpt for me for me is a make or a break. If he does not have a head sculpt, he is a pass because I particularly would want to display him like in the bar scene when you know he's like just he takes his helmet off and him and uh, Mando are going at it and then um or you know when they're talking to the townspeople and they're right next to each other. I just want the ability again for Cobb Ant to have his helmet off and him to be able to hold it. You know no, I, that's I, I, it has to come with the Bacha, uh, Baska, is it Baska? Yeah, it has to come with the Baska bottle, the Baska glass. Baska. 
Bas- Spaska. Uh, Spaska. It has to come with a bo- Spaska bottle, Spaska glass, uh, 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 shot glass. It has to come with everything. It has to come with everything, okay? I need that in my life. I need a oh, Timothy there, Olyphant has There's going to be, re- there'll be reused parts for this guy from um, Tuscan Raider, like the uh, the stinky drink, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And then, oh, my God, this Hot Toys is, is freaking Mandalorian uh addicted to mandalorian baby freaking yep oh my god they're heavy on the mandos man man i i know people are mad but i'm happy i'm sorry guys. well because because and here's happy. the thing because like arias was on last night and he's like yeah you're like because and i and i was totally with him like oh the, you know when you see those pictures um you know like coming for reviews you usually expect to see those pictures, but then you know you see all the the shots of Mando Luke, and then you're like, "How long has it been since we've seen nothing?" And then quickly you see the preview shots of like Acosta Reeves, and they're yeah, we might see her in six months a year. Five days later, there she is. You know. Oh my God! They're throwing the freaking. When did they throw in the freaking rat? Oh my God! They got him in the freaking spit bucket. Oh my god. I'll just say this. What's what's scarier, that or the fact they've designed the Frog Lady's backpack? You know, this oh my god, they even got the, the jellyfish coming out the freaking bowl. That's like the white or yep, the, eat the your octopus, food. right? Oh yeah, don't play with your food, yep. Wait, what's that what's that mouse pad there? I think that might be is that from the school? Where is like that the true? three uh where the product where the uh, it looks like a data pad. Oh crap! You know what can be forgot? The little cookies, the blue cookies. Like, where is that? Where are the blue cookies, Hot Toys? You mean to tell me we gotta wait for another accessory pack for the Probably. cookies? Probably. Probably. Get out of here with this. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. Disney. Disney was selling blue macarons labeled as like Grogu, ba- um, Grogu cookies or whatever. They were selling for fifty dollars a pack. So we're gonna get so, them. Just. So here, yeah. Okay. So. I'm guessing uh, either this is a tease, either this is a tease for we're gonna get the mama frog, but if we don't, this is probably the only thing we're gonna get. I don't think we're gonna get the mama frog. That's the only figure they probably won't do because of the R and D that will go into that figure. They rather do it for Quill because Quill will make money, of course, because you know Quill and the blur. But for her, I don't see it. If they're already dropping the egg, uh. Uh, container here, yeah, they would have saved that for the actual figure itself. Mm-hmm, definitely, it's just one one of those weird things, you know. It's like are they intentionally doing that totem also go? Are they gonna do it? It makes you think though. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, uh, I was letting y'all know we're fifty seven minutes in. We're almost an hour. We still got some stuff we're gonna go through. I don't think we have much left. I think we have maybe about twenty more minutes left because I didn't even really show a lot in the day one part two version they just showed of the they showed just the uh the big dry runner piece we'll definitely we'll get into but i want to mm-hmm. let you guys know please if you've made this oh, far well, after freaking 57 minutes please hit that like hit that subscribe button yep. if you enjoyed our content we will be continuing our discussion about everything that's happening in wednesday stream at 6 p.m eastern time absolutely and what are you going to say absolutely. don prime I was gonna say, yeah, no, I mean, it, it's kind of like you knew it was happening, but you didn't again expect it as fast. Again, Return of the Jedi biker, biker. I mean, Scout and the Return of the Jedi Endor bike. So, I honestly, well, we're we are getting. You know what? What if I I, I could see this happening? What if Hot Toys decides? You know what? We'll just give. Uh, We'll just give the collectors a um, Han Solo Deluxe Edition for Return of the Jedi, which includes the Bespin look. Uh, Bespin. Uh, 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 that, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking if anything. That? Well, here, like, again, if they've, again, they're doing the Return of the Jedi Scout in the bike. I, Aries has said it, you've said it, and I'm saying at this point, we're going to get a Return of the Jedi Vader. And at that point. You're gonna almost need a Endor Han more than I mean more than Bespin Han because you've already got Endor Luke. You already have Endor Leia. You already have the bikes. You already have Ewoks. 
like that is the last piece to complete that essential yeah. set. So say more, more as as bad as it is, it makes more sense to complete the line for Hot Toys to do Endor than, than it does to do mm -hmm. Bespin Han. Which, yep. and I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but financially it makes more sense if they're going to do another Han Solo. It's either going to be Endor or like you're saying a deluxe where it has the changeable look. Because they've done that before. They did it with the re, uh, Return of Jedi R2-D2, which included the entire trilogy. Mm -hmm. So That's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing is going to happen. Like, if we're getting to a point where we're, 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 we're going to miss the, 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 the window. But we already missed the window for the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back. But we're going to get to the point where we're going to be in the, in the window of the 40th anniversary Return of Jedi at this point. I'm here like... Okay, Hot Toys, you might just, you know, cut ties with the Empire and just give us the Return of Jedi Han Solo. Because that's the that's the last ultimate Han Solo at this point. Even though people don't like the Return of Jedi Han Solo because they felt he got neutered person personality wise compared to his yeah, and, Empire Strikes Back version. And and here's the thing too, which kind of furthers I think they might focus more on Return of the Jedi. They do they do say Endor Han. Then guess what? Quick read, uh, you know, quick new soft goods. You have General Calrissian. Yeah. So. You know, I'll say this much. Uh, I definitely would like a um, light up base for this. Yeah, I mean, you should have had the effects around the writing. Then of course we and you know the little piece maybe if it had little pieces like the statue the iron um studio statue where those would illuminate too yeah so. they, you know what they could they could do the illumin the illuminous effect kind of like you do with thor's eyes and he just add that paint to it possibly yes sir. But, but again this thing's probably going to be about the very controversial egg 140 150 so hey they do anything more than that then you're jumping the price maybe up to 200 when did they add the effects. the rat? Where was the rat available? Oh wait, no, no, isn't that which rat is that? Which I don't where remember. was that rat from? Sorry, it looks like Boba to me. Like not Mr. Fat, but but the drink Boba. I'm trying to figure out that data pad. That looks like the data pad from the school. I know better. It's very controversial. Yeah, where they were talking about the different um, routes and yeah. The soup. Nah, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um, oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look at my girl. Who made her live action debut. I mean, we've, we've had beautiful animated content with her. She became a beloved fan favorite. But she still looks great. Exactly. But she should have been 1DX, everything included. If being called a DX at all was appropriate. I don't know, I don't know why she was a DX, though. Why was she a DX? It doesn't make sense. Why was she a DX? It just does not make sense at all. But uh, she looks great, though. I'll give it that much. Yep, yep. Definitely. Um, uh, there's the... Wow! Look at Costco. that. I'm reacting to these, the, the, reacting to these right now. And that's uh, Costco, Costco Reeves, right? Right there? Yep, and I... Oh, what's the dude's name? I forget. See, uh, here's the thing. I, I think they'll I, make. I my, yeah, I, I think. Here. Yeah, if if anything, I think Costco might get made. The other dude might not. If I had to put money on it, now I'm not saying neither of them are gonna get made. I'm just saying if it comes down to one or the other, um, Costco Reeves will get made. Uh, just for the fact Axe that Wolves. she also fought Boba. Axe Wolves. Oh yeah. His, his okay, so. Axe Wolves. All right, so yeah, like I said, if. If they're only going to make one, it's going to be her. Because specifically, also, she shot, she fought Boba, and she was part of the, you know, the four women fire team. But I'm, I'm wonder if they're going to give the head. I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to do the head school for her because she's probably still in licensing with uh, WWE, and that's one of the reasons it's why we haven't gotten well, it in a minute. Well, uh, as far like her, her situation is complicated. Both because it involves the WWE, but apparently before she even joined, she copyrighted herself. So, I'm, I'll just say this. If any figure that we don't see has the potential to get a head sculpt, it might actually be Costco Reeves. 
just realistically uh, don't expect it, but don't necessarily be surprised if all of a sudden we do get one. Not going to lie, I really like the look from uh, Axe Wolves. He looks very, like, uh, separate from the group as far as, like, coloring is concerned. It's like it's worn down. Like, he has the best scar. It's, like, worn down best scar, but it doesn't have the... Uh, the, the He's the not color. as vibrant. Yeah, it's not as vibrant. It doesn't have the depth-wise vibrant colors. And again, we see those dynamic figure stands. Uh, so... And the weathering damage on the armor. The weather, I, I get obsessed and hyper-focused on weathering damage. It looks great, it's though, really man. Great. This the will day. add to... My death watch uh, army oh, army yeah. building. Yeah, I mean, like we said before, there's so many figures you're gonna get it um, overwhelmed, like getting intimidated, crying for your wallet. Just again, take a step back, figure what you really want. We're really all right. More so, figure out what you want first, and then from that list, figure out what means the most to you, and then go from there. I mean, again. So, I, w I want some of these figures, but I'm not going to get all of them. Hell, for, again, I might not get anything more than one from the of these entire figures. Again, it's just my collection, where it's going. And the problem is, if you see these, you buy these day one. Again, a lot of this stuff also is designed to make you impulse buy so that you pre-order as soon as you can without thinking. And if you have to cancel it three days later, guess what? Sideshow has your money. Your, your NRD. So, I mean, a lot of these stuff is to is designed specifically to drive up hype, you know, and how many people have put pre-orders now on the armor just because it came up that necessarily weren't 100% sold on it, but they got it because of the hype, you know, it being yeah, also yeah, in the um, um, There's people out there that I know, that collectors, they've, um, they, they immediately sold their Gamora Volume 2. Not saying that it's, it's not a great figure, they're, they 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 just didn't it didn't fit in their collection even though they had it and it's a great figure it didn't fit in their collection it was an impulse buy so they resold it there's people out there I know that bought the incinerator trooper and it looks too clean for them so they sold it exactly I mean so here's the th I mean ultimately just like kind of I mean wait you don't have to buy any of these if you don't want you don't gotta feel pressure again just buy what you like what's in your means. Don't feel the pressure, and again, as we'll discuss in a future video, control your collection. Don't let your collection control you. Yeah, I feel that people um, that do are complaining about the overwhelmingness of Hot Toys. Uh, the thing is, uh, the world is changing, so we have to change too. Hot Toys is changing. They're becoming more of uh, more of a company that 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 takes value of the actual production of the figures versus the limitations of um the quantity the qua the quantity of them you know if they're not a grail company anymore they're growing out of that and it, it we're seeing it right now with all these mass production mass produce uh high-end figures they're not as limited as they used to be now for granted you do see these price hikes in certain figures but hell Mm -hmm. Freaking Don Prime was showing me the other day these Grail figures that were selling for high money are discounted, heavily discounted. Like hell, some of the mass produced figures that you can get for retail right now are heavily discounted too. So, um, I have mm -hmm. no problem with it because I collect to have fun, I don't collect for the Grails. It if there's a figure that becomes a grail, that's cool. You know, that's a cool story to talk about. But either way, like I said, times are changing. So we have to change too. So it's not, Hot Toys is not what they used to be. Yeah, it, yes, indeed. Now, I know, like we said before, some people aren't happy with that. And all we have to say is, have a nice day. And that's going to open up more space for new collectors. Yeah, and if you're always interested in uh, limited edition figures... Or uh, there's always, uh, well, statues. There's always Prime One Studios. There's these companies that do a lot of limited edition statues. And they have actual numbers of them. And they sell pretty high after uh, they sell out. So I'm just saying there's ways to move about. I'm just collecting to have fun. Um, and if I need a sell figure for resale, that's fine too. There's opportunities for that, you know. But really, it's all about the game. I, I'm enjoying the game so far. 
And thank you, Hot Toys, for giving us all this Mandalorian merch because I'm going to enjoy it so very much. And the thing exactly. is, Mandalorian is becoming Mandalorian slash Star Wars is becoming like Marvel now. Yeah, I mean, it, first world problems, right? First, I mean, we're it's to the point where, like we're getting too much, you know. And some people think that's a bad thing. I mean, at this point, it's becoming almost like Baskin Robbins, Thirty One Flavors, Hot Toys is again they're gonna. From a business perspective, they're going to put out as much as they can for Mando because the more they put out, the wider audience they're going to hit. You know, again, Mando is such a worldwide phenomenon. Again, even in places where Star Wars normally wasn't, like mainland China. So, again, Hot Toys, they're going to make stuff now that potentially will appeal to everyone. You know, you have Costco that's being shown here. You have Bo-Katan. That's gonna, you know, appeal to one set of fans. You have Cobb Vanth; he's gonna set appeal to another. So, yeah, I'm prepping, man. I am prepping my my Mandalorian shelf up here. For yeah, this. it's gonna be freaking I mean, amazing. I can't wait. Oh my god! Again, and I mean, and here's the funny thing, and it's not this for in this instance, it's not necessarily bad, but it's almost like a Disneyfication. And what I mean is, if you ever go to like the Disney store, you ever go to the parks, you go into any of the uh, the gift shops, the stores. You have Mickey, you have Minnie, you have Pluto, you have every character under the sun in plush or action figures, and they're all right next to each other, literally all up and down the line. So it's there is an action figure of every character that will reach somebody. So that's what it almost seems like they're doing with the Mandalorian line. Yeah. So, so far, Cobb Vanth stole the show for me. That Cobb Vanth in the first episode stole the show. I know there's other figures, but that Cobb Vanth was freaking beautiful, man. And I can't... I, Hot Toys, please give me the Timmy the Ollie Pump. Do not... Do not cheat us, okay? I want Daddy Boba, okay? That's Daddy right there. Give me Timmy the Ollie Pump freaking head sculpt, okay? Give it to me, all right? That's one of my yeah. favorite actors of all time, all right? He did great in Hitman. I know people don't like that movie, but I loved him in there. He did an awesome job in Die Hard 4. I know people don't like him in there, but he did an awesome job in there too. I, this guy, man, I Dude, want to uh, have you, you, you know what the thing is that reminded me the most of this? Um, of Cobb Vanth, kind of, and some of the things he did and acted? Have you seen The Crazies? Yeah. Yeah, I saw The Crazies. Where, where he's the sheriff? That's lit. I, I connected more of Cobb Vanth with more than The Crazies. Then you know his stuff. You know his westerns. He did so. Again, that's just again. It's a it's a it's an awesome movie. Check it out. The crazies. Um, yeah, um, uh, but also, guys, don't don't the, the it gets it, it gets really hard uh, through that movie. So be, be, I'm just letting y'all know it gets, it gets tough choices to make. And, and and I'll just say this: the ending actually ain't that far from the truth. If something really did happen, just tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's messed up, but hey, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a messed up world we're living. All exactly right, so now we're entering part two, and part two is not too much because the thing is, uh, they're, they're they they uh, in this one they start off with uh, some of the Star Wars stuff first, and then they move on with other things, and we're gonna touch up on the Star Wars stuff and then uh, jump into the uh, Hulkbuster later in this video. But they just streamed this about an hour ago, so I really want to delve into this. So tell yep. me your thoughts on this, man. The di- they they're um, going off this, babe. Well, they already they like this, and this isn't a flex piece. They've already put up a page on um, Sideshow to re- or like RSVP to pre-order it. Um, I love it. I, I love the fact that they're going to do this now. This is one of those pieces that, yeah, obviously they're showing him an OG Mando. But this kind of display piece, this is going to work with any Star Wars figure. Any era. It, the aesthetic, you know, and when you've got, you know, the, the security eye that's lit up. And then you've got, you know, the cube. This might be branded for Mando, but it will, I mean, and it will work pretty much with any sci-fi thing. Because they're labeling it as Star Wars, but this has such a broad outreach for anybody that collects one six figures, you know. So, I think this is smart, actually. I mean, yeah. as long as they don't uh, overprice themselves. I now that 
Uh, what's your what's your thoughts on this? Like, what's the price? What, how you feel about the price? Man, these Brenda Troopers are going to go up again. Well, yeah, <laughs> probably. Well, here's the thing. This, I mean, and it's not just a front. It's actually there's depth to it. So, uh, if I had to put a legitimate guess, I'm going to put two ninety to three twenty. Two ninety to three twenty. Yeah. Or Again, because it's not right just a front. It's well, it's not just the front. There's actual depth and there's back to it. So I don't think this would even fit in a detolf, based on the current dimensions. Because if you let it play it's a little long. bit, there you can actually see the size. It's quite large. Wow! Look at those remnant. Okay, there's a remnant trooper and there's a Rogue One stormtrooper behind him. I see you, Hot Toys. You keep teasing me with these Rogue One stormtroopers. Give me the <laughs> E-Web Cannon two pack, okay? Yep. And see, so there's an actual I'm wall to this. Yeah, the, yeah, this thing is literally like a four-sided block. Wow. And you don't know the weight or any of that, but I mean, and there's and they've got Arab. I think that if I remember it, they have Arabish or markings on the wall as as well. I don't know. Maybe they'll run this to three hundred, four hundred bucks. What do you think? I don't think they're going to go that high. Um, again, because it's still one of those things. I think they want to put it at a certain price. They want to be competitive, make their money, but they don't want to price themselves out of the market before they even get their foot in the door. But the light up feature for the uh, but the light up feature and the and the way it's designed, the one six scale chambers for your Iron Man, those are like what one fifty, one seventy by itself, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, this only this looks like it only have one LED because it doesn't look like there's interior lights. So. But, but again, cool. who knows? Who knows? Maybe the front part is removable. Because you see there's the seam in the door. So maybe yeah. you can open that up. And then you can open it up and to do a full, your four-on-one scene. Ooh, the four-to-one. I, dude, I, I might get this just to get that four-to-one. Yeah, yeah, again, let it play a little. because Yep, and you can see, my... though, it's actually, it's got the walls. It's got dimensions. It's not just the front. How would you? Where would you fit this? You're gonna need like a you're gonna need a Maja case or one of the really big um, IKEA displays. I don't know if a Billy would fit this. It can I could fit it in mine, like no problem. But people that just have Detox, this won't fit in a Detox. Like I mean, depending not, on how like, heavy it is, it might not. Your detail might support, might not support the weight on this thing either, depending on the material used. Wow, this thing looks amazing, though, man. Like I, Hot Toys, if you drop this for pre-order, I probably pick this up for my four to one. Like, put them all up there, right there. I, I, I just set up the scene. Just set up the scene, man. Hell, man. I, I, I got, I got a shelf ready. I got a shelf ready for my uh, scout hmm. troopers and my blurgs. I could have that as a centerpiece for everything. Like I have the blurbs on 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 um, on the sides, and then have this as a centerpiece for that show. Yeah, I mean choices. So that OG Mando, though, ah, I still love that OG. This looks amazing, man! Wow, this is a big flex. Um, actually, this is this seems more doable than the Jedi Starfighters that were teased way back when. Yeah, or like the full scale um the full size Falcon they did. Yeah. That's right, it did do a full size Falcon. That's like a garage, right? On well, and they did it on the Death Star, um like the hangar bay. Oh boy. What you The ladies Okay the but no no seriously though. Um, no, I'm no I'm just saying the, I don't know who this woman is. Um she she knows her stuff. She knows her stuff. She does. Wow. Actually, no. I've seen her in the uh, in the past streams before. Yeah, she does know her stuff, though. She. Yeah, she she's good for the channel. She's she's spreading her knowledge. So. But the swoop bikes, the speeder bike, the scout bike. It looks great, though. Isn't that that's. That that has to be the the Return of Jedi Scout Trooper, right? Yeah, yeah. They're minor. Like, look, the knee pads are different. Hold on, look at mine. Yeah, the knee pads are reversed. 
um, and he's cleaner. I think that might be the only two major differences. Now, possibly with the helmet a little bit, but nothing major. Possibly the markings. He looks great, though, man. Wow. Now, now, here's the th now, here's the thing, though. I have to... In order to tell if that bike is accurate, you need to see the other side to see where they put the exhaust, like the, the fan. You know, is it in the same place as the Mando bike, or is it, you know, where it should actually be as the Return of the Jedi bike? Because the two bikes, they're not the same. They, they have, their equipment is the same, but their positions are different. Wow, this looks great, though, man. Shoot. Like, I might just get this for my Return of Jedi. Uh, so, what's your guess? Will they sell this uh, like they did for the Scout Trooper? Or it'll set separately for people to... Um, honestly, to I think, the, honestly, I think they would... They might do three versions, meaning... Or they, they'll do the Scout by himself... Um, Return of the Jedi Scout by himself. They'll do the two-pack... And then because so many people will want to do the scene, they're going to need three or four scout bikes. They'll probably sell this separately. A scout bike, if they do it separately, I'd say 279 280 because they know people are going to buy multiples. Let me say this much. Remember remember it was uh, teased or rumored that they were coming out with the Return of Jedi scout bike, but with uh, Luke Skywalker involved? But then what that still if leaves. They do that. What if they do that and also reissue, uh, what's her face? Leia with and and Wicket. Leia, yeah, reissue. Because again, they can do a two pack. They can reissue both Wicket and Leia, and they can do both options, both a single and reissue the two pack again. Again, this is a as soon as people you know so we're seeing the scout bike post going up. Oh, I I need at least I you know. It's like, oh, I need one for Luke, I need one for Leia, I need, you know, two for the other scouts. So, like, literally, as soon as this announced, people were saying, like, they have plans to buy three or four, just of the scout bike, you know? So this is a money machine right off the bat. You knew this was happening. You just, again, didn't expect it to drop this quick. Again, people are still waiting for their Mando scout bikes to even hit Sideshow to be shipped out, and they're already presenting the next one. Now, here's the thing, guys. We're seeing this now. So, if you're in talks or, uh, in, you know, debating about yourself, about picking up the Mandalorian scout bike, just remember this. We won't see this figure or this scout bike, Return of Jedi scout bike, till maybe two or three years down the line. Maybe in Return of Jedi 40th anniversary years. Year. So, I'm just saying, maybe purchase the Mandalorian scout bike and then hold it for a minute and then see if the resale goes up after it sells out and then you can have you can have uh, a you could resell as a pretty penny and uh pretty much mm -hmm. make do make do and use the use what you uh you know acquired to buy two of these with the price of one Mando scout bike yeah exactly like I'm not I'm flat out I have the Mando scout in my OT shelf I think it looks fine. Um, some people m might scoff at that. I don't care. I've got a scout now with, you know, next to, um, like, my uh, indoor area, so I can't complain. I mean, like I said, th th this is basically the Mando scout, except the knee pads are flipped. It's cleaner. There might be a few more differences, but, again, we would need to see the actual promotional shots and the actual page to be able to, you know, can uh, compare the two pictures because you really can't, especially since he's on the bike, and you can't tell if his front padding assembly is different, uh, more in line with uh, Return of the Jedi, or if it's more in the Mando setup. So, all right, let me see. This is uh, it's just other figure lines from other companies they're showing here. I'm not okay. So this is the one that you were talking about. Remember this? Was that the? Wasn't this the one you were talking about earlier of uh, the Fennec Chan with the uh, Fennec Chan with the um, with the uh, uh, yeah yeah the yeah 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 exactly because I mean I was just saying if you look there's it doesn't look like there's a part of where the uh, helmet would actually 
like physically attached to her like it does with um, Echo. Now so. this is the sage I want. Look at the sage right there. That's the sage. The, the red pops better on this one too, though. The red seems more ambient in this version. Yeah, I want this. I want this hot to hot toys. Take some notes you, right here. You want those colors. You those colors are perfect. They pop. I want to smooth this too. You see how smooth this thing is? Smooth it out, okay, hot toys. Do your homework. Like I, I, it's a B plus right now. We are boba. I want A plus, okay. I want the A plus. Now look at this. Are you a fan of the last Ronin? Uh, I'll be show? honest with you. I, I mean, I knew about Ninja Turtles. I watched the cartoon growing up. You know, saw the, you know, the t the movies in the nineties. Uh, since then, really don't know much about them. Like I was learning the history of this while I was watching this, and I'm like. They killed the turtles, and Michelangelo was the one now. And I'm like, wait, Michael, like Michelangelo went from the happy-go-lucky guy to basically being, you know, Hawkeye in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle world, killing people. It's kind of imp it is yeah, impressive um, though. He went down the they they took the route of the Deadpool uh, route. There's a there's a uh, comic book line where Deadpool he becomes uh, a very um, depressed. Uh, individual like he's not his goal happy self or you know uh you know wild self like there, there's a point where in that comic book line like there's a big war that happens in the apocalypse and those that survived the x-men and stuff like that he like he was literally like talking about how he wanted to off himself like he was getting tired of this and stuff like that yeah this is sort of like this dark path that, that they're going with uh michelangelo he's not his you know you know, wise cracking self anymore. He's very he's he's taking more of the route of uh, Raphael, where he's very angry with himself, angry that he couldn't save his brothers, angry at those that took his brothers out. A spoiler alert! I'm sorry if you guys that never read the comic, but uh, this yeah, I didn't. And I'm, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't I didn't know about it. And the woman's like, "Well, well, this happened. This happened. This person killed this." And I'm like, "What?" And I'm like, okay, so. Now, my only thing, though, it took a minute. The, the one thing with this figure, though, depending on the angle. Now, you see how his, the, the hood, it has the, um, the ridge right at the center line? Yeah. If you get it at the, if, look at it at the quote-unquote wrong angle. The bow staff actually looks like it's a part of that bridge. And it almost looks like he has one of those long archer hats that had the, like, the long, like, extended piece that goes out. Or almost like mm -hmm. the armored... Um, so, I, it's one of those things, it's like, you get it at the wrong angle, it looks weird for a second. So, like, kind of like yeah. right here, you see, it, it kind of looks yeah. like it's a continuing piece. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's uh, move on. I, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Okay, so look at this, look at this. I, th there's the Game of Thrones. Um... Sir, something I forgot his name. Sir, sir Renzo. didn't watch the show, and apparently HBO murdered the series. So, <laughs> uh, there you go, Sir Friendzone. First, Sir uh, uh, HBO murdered the series. Yes. <laughs> now he's Sir Friendzone, though. That's my boy, okay. friend, Sir Friendzone. Hey, if you guys get the joke, congratulations. <laughs> no, you know, give my props to my boy, man. He did his best, but uh, he ended up in the friend zone. You know. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. He looks great, though. The head sculpt does look great. Uh, everything looks great for this. And then the Demogorgon. I love this Demogorgon, though. This thing is massive. This thing is massive. I think this stands, what, at 14 inches tall? I think taller than that. Or t yeah, because they specifically were talking in the um, the stream that this thing is like would fit with not only Stranger Things, but a different other lines. Yeah, you this know, could fit. But it the, could fit Star Wars. It could fit like fantasy, dark fantasy. It could fit everything. I mean, just general horror, you know, monster stuff, even like kaiju stuff. So. And then the Court of the Dead. I, I will stuff. say this though. Um, yeah, their Court of the Dead. That um, the, I don't know what it's called. Not the Jester figure, but the other one. I'm like, that's actually what like Skeletor would look like if you actually mean business. Because I think this is this is like what Skeletor, you know, in a He-Man movie would look like. So it would be. 
Man, this looks this looks great though. I, I'm not gonna lie, that looks great. And then the, some of the Spider-Man stuff the statues, they look great too. I thought this was nice right here. This was nice. Oh my god! Every this was the star of the show as far as statues are concerned. No, no, no. Here's two. the thing. Yeah. Now here's the thing. I was now did that with. Is this supposed to reference both the comic book and Spider-Man Three, the movie? Or is this specifically just the comic book? I think it's a comic book, but it may take um, influence from the movie. What? Well, okay, you, why you feel that way? Um, just the way they were talking. Um, again, it's been a long time since I read the comic book. Um, so, again, they were just little things that they were saying. It kind of made me think, oh, is this like both? Or, you know, is it mentioning both? Um, you know, specifically from the Spider-Man 3 movie or the comic books, but just things they were saying. Again, I'm, like, Spider-Man, I'm, n yeah, don't know that as much character, so. Especially the variants. Oh my god, here it is. Here it is, the Hulkbuster from 3-0. Wow, 3-0. What have you been doing? Like, you've been doing your homework you took the freaking like you took the freaking exam and you literally passed it with flying colors. Like you literally just like you just you just went to Hot Toys. Hey Hot Toys, can I borrow can I can I borrow your homework? Yeah, just uh, rewrite it. Okay, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, now now again, uh, this obviously one twelve scale, um, but the company that was doing one twelve scales, especially in this format before. Um, was Comic Cave, Comic Cave Collectibles. So it appears they lost the license. So that means potentially th um, they'll be doing a whole lot more figures to include the Iron Legion. This looks great though, man. Wow. Yeah, it's only a 12... I think this is a 12-inch tall, 13-inch tall uh, Hulkbuster. Yeah. Um, and the colors is vibrant. Uh, the Comic Cave version, it was gray and all, but I think it only had like a, I think the only the only thing that made it popular was that uh, it could like the chest piece and the head can open up and then close back up. Yeah, yeah, and um, it was supposed to be all like auto mechanical, like you open one thing and it all li lines up joint wise. And but if you break one thing, you're screwed because yeah, everything's yeah. Attached. You know, true story. When I was first looking for a Hulkbuster, I was trying to figure out which Hulkbuster to get at the time when I was first collecting, just starting to collect these figures, like just going right in. Uh, I know I, I looked it up on the Hulkbusters. Freaking Hulkbuster popped up from Hot Toys. And I'm like, wait a minute. I remember this selling out years ago. What, they brought it back for pre-orders? Take my body! Diagonic just canceled the comic game. I'm going for the freaking uh, Hulkbuster from <laughs> Hot Toys. And nice. there he is right here. He's over here. All right. Uh, that looks great. I think uh, that's about it, guys. Let me see. I don't think they added... They, they added... Um, oh, the Berserker statue. I think it's a Berserker statue over here. Yeah, it's a statue. Yeah. But yeah, that's about that it, it, man. That's about it. But anyway, guys, thank you for those who decide to join us on this freaking journey through almost an hour and 33 minutes just going through both videos of the day. Uh, we'll be uploading this in just a few minutes. I'm hoping that we're able to get this up and running maybe, uh, I don't know, by 8 o'clock, but maybe 9 o'clock maybe and get it uploaded cool, cool. for you guys to watch. Uh, we will be doing more uh, discussions for this. Coming up on Wednesday, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, going to 8 p.m. Eastern live stream. Uh, I didn't want to make this into a live stream because um, because I, I want to just do a, bit, a quick video on it. Because the thing is, Wednesday we're going to go more in depth with it, then we have mm -hmm. more more content coming out from Sideshow. So this is one of the first I wanted to do. Just break down th these videos with Don Prime. Just talk about what, what what we're experiencing, what we enjoyed from it. Cobb Vamp. I can't wait. <laughs> Please pre o pre that my boy. I bought this shirt because of freaking cop Van Timothy Oliphant. So give me the head scope hot toys. That's what yep. I'm hoping for. What you hoping for, man? 
Um, at this point, I'm glad they showed finally showed the B2. At least it's, you know, I know some people are disappointed that it's not the Clone Wars or um, something we've seen in the movies, but you know what? It's a B2. Be happy right now because it might not be the B2 you want in that color, but guess what? As shown with the Scout Trooper, it's just a repaint, and you're going to get it like three months after it, you know, ships to the U.S. So just wait. You're going to get your B1s and your B2s. You know, in different colors and in different uh, paint variations, too. Because, again, for every B1 out there, they're going to need to do a B1 Commander version. So, Yeah, I'm definitely going to try and pick up as many B1s as I can. Because I'm going to be troop building my, my bad guys to go with my uh, either Count Dooku or my General Grievous whenever they pop that off. So, I'm really uh, enjoying what Hot Toys is putting out. I think they're putting out a lot of stuff. I know people are going to be mad because it's... Uh, it's really taking up their wallets and taking up their time because I'm like, Star Wars is becoming like Marvel now, and uh, it's not gonna stop. If they can, if if Disney does their job and continue putting out good product, good freaking media, we are gonna it's gonna transfer over to the merch, and that merch is gonna keep building. Exactly, exactly. But either way, guys, let me know in the comments in down below about how excited you are. Is this freaking perfection? Wep us over 9,000. These <laughs> reveals were freaking epic, man. I mean, 9,000 Wepas, baby. This was freaking perfect, man. I, I like all these reveals and also the Cobb Vanth, my boy. Okay. I, I need that to me the all fun. Also, that freaking diorama base, that will be epic. I Hell, I think... We're in t with Mandalorian now. I think anything is possible. I think any figure is possible. If you were in freaking Mandalorian, they might drop a figure for you. If you had, if you held some type of significance in the freaking show, maybe in the movie that's coming out for Mandalorian, you are going to get the figure. You are going to get a figure without a doubt. Yep, it's basically printing money at this point. So it's just printing money. But mm -hmm. either way, guys, I need to hurry up and the stream and this video stream <laughs> because I want to get this out there for you guys. Anyway, um, also, guys, remember uh, just leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this content. We are mm -hmm. we pretty much uh, we do our streams every Wednesday, six p.m. to eight p.m. And then we do a Sunday stream, six p.m. to eight p.m. Eastern time. Um, we are planning to do some videos. We're I talked to Don Prime. We're looking to do a, uh, a like what was it, Don? Do you want to do? Um. Collect, um, control your collection. Don't let your collection control you. You mean the other way around, and, though? I'm like, no, no, let the collection control you, though. Come on. Come, yeah, well, well come that on, controls like, your wallet. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm messing. I'm messing. I know, yeah, I know. I'm messing. I'm messing. But that's, that's true, though. That's true, though. You're not going to lie. You don't want to put you put yourself. I think that's a, you got to learn self-control. And another thing, you can't get all these figures. But the thing is, I think there is an opportunity to actually work on getting all these figures in a way because the way Hot Toys is putting them out there, they're not as limited as they used to, and they're sitting. So you got time to purchase them. And and pretty much they're really making their they're really making their freaking uh banks over there where uh you know they're uh, where they're based at. So that's mm -hmm. where their real revenue is coming in. And they're and it's going freaking bonkers on Iron Man's. And I knew this was going to happen. Sideshow Kong was going to be the freaking venue for Hot Toys to drop as many freaking Star Wars figures as they can. Yeah, and they haven't even dropped any of the Marvel figures yet. So who knows what may we see? You know, we might be seeing. We'll see, so. man. We'll see. But anyway, guys, love hear your thoughts down below. And also remember, we're just simple collectors trying to make our way in this Hot Toys galaxy slash universe. Take it easy, guys. May the weapons be with you. Always. Nice.